We perform this technique when no other intraarticular pathology is present and therefore placement of an anterior portal is not necessary. This technique creates less capsular disruption and preserves synovial cells. We believe this leads to less fluid extravasation and therefore less postoperative pain. The current technique is demonstrated in the lateral decubitus position but can also be performed in the beach chair position. First, diagnostic arthroscopy is performed using a posterior viewing portal to ensure that no other pathologies exist outside of the long head of the biceps. The exam starts with the assessment of the long head of the biceps. In this case, the arthroscope is directed anterior superiorly near the biceps sheath, revealing significant tenosynovitis. Once the diagnostic arthroscopy is complete, revealing no additional pathology, an 18-gauge spinal needle is inserted high in the rotator interval. Its trajectory is checked to ensure that the needle bevel can reach the base of the biceps tendon at the correct angle. It is important not to leave a stump of biceps behind on the superior labrum. Next, the bevel of the needle is placed at the attachment of the biceps, and the sharp edge of the spinal needle is then placed in contact with the inferior aspect of the biceps tendon, Pressure is applied and the blade is withdrawn carefully and a sawing motion is used to perform the tenotomy. A plane is established at the base of the biceps tendon. This is repetitively developed using the spinal needle in a sawing motion until the tendon is completely transected from its labral attachment. The procedure is finalized by completing any persistent bicipital adhesions to the anterior superior capsule. Once the biceps is completely released, the remainder of the planned surgery is executed, whether that be work in the subacromial space, leaving the tenotomy as the final biceps treatment, or performing an open biceps tenodesis, which is what we prefer. Thank you.